Welcome to another episode of We Can Do It Wednesday. We're going to talk about some money keeping tips. Yes, and we can do that. Back in a minute. Morning. This is Jan from New York City. Channel name is Jan from New York City. Saves money. I love helping people keep some of their own hard-earned money. Could that be you? Going to jump right into it with some money-keeping, money-saving tips. Number one, play the grocery game, the self-challenge. Why? What am I talking about? <laughs> Let's play this trick. Let's pretend that prices went up all over the place, 10% on every single grocery item at the grocery store. Well, Okay, if you could figure out ways to get the same things that your family actually will use at a 10% discount, then you will have achieved your goal. It's not really easy, but once it is done, you actually getting the same things at, let's say, the pre 10% increase level. For example, keeping an open mind and trying the store brand instead of being so strict about only using the old and familiar national brands. That's, that's for one or using the rule of half or only buying or buying less than as long as your bill comes out 10% less than what you would think it would be. You won the game. So give it a try. It's worth it. Even if you don't fulfill the whole thing, you still gave yourself an automatic discount, organizing, organizing, believe it or not, when your home is more organized, when you know what's in there, you might come across some stuff that is of great value that you totally forgot about things that you could get more than one use out of. So that's a good thing. So that's part of money keeping. Okay. I personally like to carry snacks with me. If I go somewhere, especially if I'm in a car on a long range car type trip, I, I want to avoid the temptation of having to, you know, go somewhere and spend that money out of pocket when I already paid for something, I probably got a good price for it. And it's something I already like. So I like to carry snacks with me. It also puts away that, you know, hangry feel, you know what I mean? You're getting a little bit irritable because you're a little bit hungry type of feeling. Cash envelope system, that is something that still works. I love it. It still works for me. It's old fashioned. But if it works, it works. Check it out. See if you like to do stuff like that. Another great thing to consider and actually really, really does work. If you don't have your credit card on you, you're not going to use it. So if you're going out shopping and you want to spend cash and pay what you have for in cash, like either with a debit card or actual green, leave the credit card temptation at home. Because when you get back, guess what? You already paid for your item. You don't have to worry about a bill coming in. That is a nice feeling. Just saying, just saying. Next, I like to prepare my food earlier in the day or do some cooking in advance. Because let's say I'm coming back home. I'm just a little tired. I'm not interested perhaps in cooking at that point in time. But I get to, for example, take something out and just heat and eat. There's nothing easier than heating and eating. So that can be a money saver because you're avoiding the temptation for takeout and for spending lots of money on tips. Just saying, just saying, you know, sometimes people like to swap things out. If you have a friend and you like kind of like similar sizes and you don't mind like swapping out things like maybe accessories, belts, things of that nature, or even a purse, you don't have to uh, buy an expensive purse. You could borrow it and, you know, go to that place that you may be going to that your friends keep you know, inviting you to and have a different look. It doesn't have to cost you anything. If you have a friend that's willing to do that and you also, you know, are kind enough to swap with your friend as well. Next thing is buy foods that your family actually likes. Buy things that your family actually likes, including toothpaste, um, hair, shampoo, conditioner, things of that nature. Buy things that your family likes. That way it's not just sitting on a shelf collecting dust. Because if it's not being used, well, then the money is wasted, in my honest opinion. I'm just saying, just saying. Um, so that's basically it for today. However, I will be back probably next Wednesday with some more 
uh, cash saving tips on this. We can do it Wednesday and saving money is part of something that I know all of us can choose to do. There you go. Have an amazing, fantastic day. Take good care.